In electrochemistry, free energy is equal to negative N, which is the number of moles of electron transfer, times Faraday constant times the cell potential, which we already know how to determine that. Ca cathode minus anode. So if I go back to this, here is the cell potential for this system. Here is the cell potential for this system. So I already know E. What is F? F is Faraday constant. So if you have one mole of electrons, this is 96,500 Coulomb. This is the amount of electricity from one mole of electrons, which is 96,500. What's missing right now is N. How do you know the number of electron transfer? Look at any of these elements. Compare the left-hand side, the reactant side, to the product. Copper positive two, taking two electrons. So you can tell from looking at the number of electrons. The difference between these two, that this is under standard condition. When you see this, the circle here, that indicate a standard condition. So here's an example. Calculate the uh, delta G for this galvanic cell. If the cell potential is 1.1 volt, so basically using, again, what we know, the number of electrons are two. F is Faraday constant. E node is 1.1 volt. Dividing by a thousand to convert it to kilojoule. So your outcome is going to be negative 212 kilojoule.